Six trees, middleweight, a uh, super middleweight division between Jack, Jackie Barkill, Gallon come out of the red corner, and Ramiro Blanco Hernandez, and Nick Ragnarok come out of the blue corner, he's 45th for a thousand tonight. Commentary team tonight is myself, Lee, Top of Whitehead, and Mike Cash from Cornwall. That's Lee David Mulholland from Liverpool. Kill Gannon in his 14th professional out in 112. 1 1, uh, sorry, 1 1 12, and 3 stoppages with 1 defeat. We've got the upset, Jelly. Romero, Blanco, and Andes. 1 19, with 10 stoppages. Lost 22, we've only stopped once. 3 draws. So, to prove an interesting fight here for Phil Gannon. Normally fights a middleweight, fighting a super middleweight tonight, carrying it all a bit around, around the mid rift. Hope it doesn't mind me saying. Oh well. Good work there by Cole Gannon. Certainly means business, good to see. Yeah, typical Kill Gannon. He's uh, always comes forward, throws a lot of shots, always busy. Plenty of action. Chen Yang was nicely. He's got a good following as well. Plenty of them here tonight supporting him. Good to see. Good job by the Nicaraguan. Incidentally, he won 16 of his 13, 20 bouts. Lost two, drew two. And then decided to go journeyman in 2018. He's then 25 bouts. Yeah, he had a fantastic start, Blanco, uh, in his career that is, in, in his own country, and decided to go on the road and earn some cash. Let's fight the night so far for the start. Both men capable. Blanco fancies it inside. Short man. Yeah, Blanco quite happy to come and trade with Jack. Yeah, good opening round this. All action. Second down, round two. Yeah. Boom, boom, shit room. Round two. Schedule six threes. Blue corner, Blanco. Corner, red corner, kill Gannon, nice right up to body there off, kill Gannon. I don't know about you Mike, but this is the most entertaining and, and most evenly matched part of the evening so far. So far. Blanco caught the nice out to body there as kill Gannon came in. Kill Gannon throws the shots with bad intention. The dragon shakes his head. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough night for both fighters. Six rounds if they keep this pace up. There's probably more action in this fight than the, each of the previous fights. We're only in the second round. 
refereeing about tonight is David Mulholland, former decorated amateur of Liverpool. Yeah, it's a proper fight this. Side. Well, he's got deceptively long arms, hasn't he? The Blanco. Funny name for Nicaragua. Come here, Omi. Crowd shouting, the older man spurring him on. Don't think the Nicaragua have many fans here tonight. Good shots there by Kilgannon. Nice and long. Round. That's, the, that's the put me off. I never seen me boom boom shake the room start of this round because he's going to come out blasting. Hope he's not blowing himself out. Lanco now fancies it. I know uh, Ben Lancaster turns a mark down there in, in the shed. So they like a fight. And so you should be able to have a fight as a boxer as well. Yeah, Mark Town fight. By Blanco. Yeah, he's quite happy to stand in front of Kilgannon and take these shots. He's taking a lot of shots on the gloves and the arms. Again, he's an experienced, experienced guy, Blanco. Good all action fight though, entertaining. Certainly most entertaining uh, fight of the night so far. Here are Steve with VIB promotion and Macron. Enjoy the comments there, we'll try and see it as we see it. Mike Gormley and Lee Whitehead, the VIP. Cameraman, the lovely Phil. One of the best looking cameramen in the business. He's looking cool up there, Phil, he's got the re reverse cap look going on. Yeah, he's smiling. Always smiling. to body by Blanco still getting a little bit marked up over that right eye you can see it's getting a little bit messier as the rounds go on as I said at the start of it I can, you know, it's a tough one for to go six rounds at this pace is his eye shut in there? Kilgannon's eyes shut and can't see if it's done. I don't think he's quite shut, no. He looks like he's got a lump on it, maybe a bit of a clash of heads. Lanco very cool and the pressure.
Doesn't look stage at all, Blanco. Second out, round four. Yeehaw. Boom, boom, shit in round four. Scheduled six threes. You know what, it's certainly, you know what, it's an all action fight. It certainly makes the fight go a little bit quicker. You're interested in what's happening. You know, it's really easy to commentate on it. Two men put it all on the line here, Joe Gannon and Blanco. Here's again back Joe Gannon. He does not know about Kilgarren, does he? He puts everything into each shot. Might start getting a little bit untidy now, a little bit of frustration rolling in from both guys. Yeah, I think both guys need to be careful. The referee might not have just taken taking a point off if it starts getting a bit, a bit nasty. Is Blanco Wilton? Makes him been stopped once. He seems a proud man. Looks like a good boxer. As I say, won 16 out of his first 20 fights. So he decides to go on the road. Goes to compass box, he knows what he's doing, a nice sight guard. Nice repertoire of shots. Interesting bout. Kilgannon pushes him back. Yeah, he's, trying, he's trying to keep the pressure on Kilgannon Blanco. Stop him being effective. Let's go in again. Nice work again by both men. Lugano's got a swelling on coming over his right eye. <laughs> Lovely left up by Blanco. Yeah. Spit that out then, or did it come out? Probably six to one half, there's another. Probably a little bit tired with his mouth open, so. Five Kilgannon from storming out again, the former Central Area middleweight champion. Won that in 2019 against John Telford. I think, I, think he's try, I think he's playing a um, possum. Possum, that's the word, Lee, thank you. Yeah, I think he's playing a bit possum. He's letting Jack, you know, throw his shots, catch him on the gloves, on the arms. Coming back from him, as you can see, he's still coming forward. And even saying that, obviously, it's, it's been a tremendous pace, really. You know, they're not, they're not little fellas. They're not little fellas, they're a great pace. It's been the most entertaining. Most hard fought, hard fought <coughs> fight of the night so far. Let's see if we 
something decent to beat as well. Joe Gallon comes marching forward. Yeah, he's got a massive arch, Jack. He always, you know, he, he comes forward, just throws punches, regardless. So I think technique goes out the window sometimes. He, I know he is quite technical, but I think, I think from his point of view, his idea is just throw punches, throw punches, you know, cumulative shots. And, and saying that, it's quite right, really. The more shots you throw, the more you're going to land, really. If you don't throw, you're not going to land, you're not going to win fights. I think Blanco has slowed down a little now, as expected. Nice backhand there, back to Gannon line, right on the chin of Blanco. It's a bit dishevelled now. So, well, this one's marching forward, just, just on cue. For, we're in for a good last round. As long as it goes, you know, as long as we get to this one, we're pretty sure we will. Nice job back, Phil Gannon. Like we, like we talked about before, you know, Jack's not one of them to leave everything in the ring. Sorry, he is the one to leave everything in the ring. He doesn't take anything out with him. Boom, boom, in the room. Sixth and final round, this entertaining bout between Romero Blanco and Jack Kilgannon. Yeah, a little bit of respect there beginning that round from both fighters. A little bit of a hug, you know. Right, let's show some respect, Mike. They're both put on the line here. They've both, you know, been a proper boxing match, been a war. Yeah, it's been a war, people put on the line, they both tried to work, they both tried to score. There's no um, messing about here. There's no tip tapping. They get 100 percent 110 percent sorry. Just what we like to see. Nice left hook there by Moreno. Bad body shots. Little Tyson shot right up to body, right up a cut. Little Mike Tyson's best shots. Good jabs there by Phil Gannon. Big right hand, big left hook. He throws everything like he means it. Gannon with a big one too. Now he leans on. I think Blanco will be happy to see them in this fight. Sure Jack will as well, but I think Jack's, Jack's won the fight anyway for me. Yeah, definitely. I think, to be honest with you, I think he's won every round. Couldn't see, couldn't see Blanco winning a round. Yeah, but you know what? Not to take away from Blanco because he's tried his best. He's made it a real fight. No, he's not shied away like some, some you know, some journeyman, some, some in there just to get the money. Do as little as possible. He's put a shift in there. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, hundred percent. But I think Jack's just done that a little bit more. I mean, the referee depends on the referee scores it. He could have given Blanco a couple of shared rounds. Maybe I wouldn't disagree with that. He's very competitive all the way through. A little bit messy at times, but just a bit of class of style, really. Last ten. Phil Gannon, an angry man. Nice to see, punching to the final bell. Yeah, great competition. And great embrace by the boxers there. That's off to both guys there. Takes two to make a good fight. 
think you've scored it. 60-50 for Gil Gannon. You've got to take nothing away from Blanco. He certainly lost a fight, but certainly put a great shift in there. He's earned his money. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.